Good to see you guys this morning. Did you guys have a great Thanksgiving? Yeah. Did you eat lots of food? Uh, are you trying to, did you put on any weight? Did you weigh yourselves afterwards? You, know, you don't need to do that yet. Maybe when you get older. <laughs> well, today is the first Sunday in Advent. And like I said at the beginning of the service, that means it's in the Christian year. It's a new year. Today is New Year's Day. And it is the time when we in the church prepare to ourselves for Christmas. Well, yeah. See, the rest of the world is already trying to get to Christmas. But in the church, we're kind of trying to slow down a bit so that we can be ready for Christmas. How many of y'all need to know that you need to slow down just at the time that the world around us is staying to speed up? Amen? Amen. Come to church. That's a great way to slow down. We'll be slowing down the rush to Christmas because we got some things to do before we get, before we're ready for Christmas, right? Like, well, we're going to be decorating our, we already have started decorating our church somewhat, right? And we're going to be decorating it even more as the weeks go by. That's part of our way of getting ready for Christmas. Yeah. Now, do you know what it means to prepare for something? Okay, what do you think, what are some things that you guys do to prepare for something in your life? Suppose you're going over to a friend's house to play or visit with somebody. What do you do to prepare yourself to get ready to go visit somebody? What? Go to the bathroom? That's a good thing to do. <laughs> How many of you know it's a good thing to go to the bathroom before you go somewhere else, right? Yeah. Okay. Anything else? What? Get dressed? Yeah. If it's the first thing in the morning or if you're still in your jammies or something like that, you might want to wear some, put on some different clothes, right? Sometimes when we bring, go over to see somebody, we bring something with us. Maybe we have uh, something that we want to show them that we just got that we, they, that we can play together with. Or, or you know, maybe there's a, a game that you just got and you want to bring that over and play it with your friend, right? So we might think about are there some, are there some things that we should bring with us to our friend's house, right? Well, when we're in Advent, we're kind of doing the same things. We ask ourselves, what are some things that we need to do to get ready to celebrate Christmas? And yeah, there's the obvious things like decorate. If we are going to exchange gifts, we might go out and buy those gifts, right? We go with our parents to, uh, uh, to buy gifts for our loved ones, right? Yeah, like you. Yeah. You want me to give you something for Christmas? Okay. We'll see what we can come up with. Okay. All of this is things that we do to get ready, but there's some other things that we can do. And that is to pray. We can ask God to help us to really remember what Christmas is all about, right? Because ultimately Christmas isn't about all the decorations and and all the things that are happening around us in terms of, you know, going to the store and buying things or, or that kind of thing. Christmas is really all about Jesus and his birth. Yeah, right. Well, we give because Jesus has given so much to us. And we give to remember that there were some wise people who came and gave Jesus gifts, right? So those are all things that we can do. We, we can pray. We can sing together uh, Christmas songs or an, an Advent song. We just sang an Advent song. You know that? People might think it's a Christmas carol, but Come, O Come, Emmanuel is an Advent song. We can study the sto stories of Advent and Christmas with our families and at church. All of these are things that we can do to get ready for Christmas, just like we get ready for other things in our lives. Uh, and, and we want to make sure that 
while there's all of these other things happening around us that maybe take our eyes off of why Christmas really happened, we can keep ourselves focused on Christmas, on Jesus. What? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. What? Later on, in the as we get closer to Christmas, we'll start singing a couple of Christmas. But remember what I said, everyone else in the world is rushing to get Christmas. To Christmas. We're going to slow down here. And, and, and we're going to focus on some things uh, to get ready for Christmas. Okay? Yeah, when is Christmas? The 7th or the 25th? You can always count on Christmas being on the 25th. Isn't that kind of cool? It's just, it's just like your birthday. Jesus' birthday is celebrated on the same day every year, right? Just like your birthday is celebrated on the same day on the calendar every year, right? Okay. Well, let's, you know what? Let's pray. Remember I said we can pray to get ready for Christmas. <laughs> Amen? Okay. Let's pray together, and then you can go to Sunday. Lord Jesus, as we prepare for your birth, help us to do everything that we can to, to slow down and to pay attention and to get ourselves ready to serve you and to celebrate Christmas. Just like maybe we do some decorating in our church or at our home or, uh, or at, in, at our schools or in the shops, help us to get our hearts ready. And help us to always remember that Jesus is the reason for the season. Nothing else but Jesus is the reason for the season. All this we pray in your name. Amen. Okay, guys, you can go to Sunday school or sit with your folks or whatever you do.